Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Let Kyle Do Things. And today, we are getting into more... Now, how, does it, how do we say it? How, how do we say it? It's not automata. Even though that's the, the popular way to mispronounce it. It's... Automata? Automata? Yeah, it's, I believe it's automata. It, it's... It, it's... It's like saying automatron. Or automaton in a sense and it's it's confusing to say automata makes more sense to me personally I'm gonna join that populace of saying it incorrectly I suppose or I'm just gonna call it near a or near auto because I I think more people would understand it that way coming from me but we had to get in to more some of some of this stuff here and Right now, I'm trying to get back over to that dang elevator we found. I don't know why I didn't explore it in the last video. The, the more I got into it in this video recording, I really wish I would have just done it then and there. But I wasn't able to. And that's me goofing up my buttons yet again. But, anywho, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into maybe a small handful of other things. And... I, I still don't know how the chests work in this game. There's some I find that are open, some not. I, it might be a level thing. I also, as the map area grows, I don't know if I'm going to be coming back to anything. And there's that body where I died on top of the tank. Do you remember that one on the giant Goliath tank? That the more I think about that, also, I kind of wish I would have just left them alone. Because who's to say they would have harmed anyone? They were perfectly fine till provoked. No different than any other thing, being, or creature on the planet. You know, if you're provoked, you know, sometimes that happens. Or if, you know, an animal's provoked, you back him into a corner. It's survival at that point. That's exactly what that was. It was androids versus robots. But... Alright, so if I get back on the roller coaster, I should be able to drop back down in there, go through the door, go around to the left, down the big steps. I guess I do have to go all the way over to one side or the other to activate. Alright, time to surf the coaster again, I suppose. Again, amazing graphics, amazing music. I, I am going to say that forever and a day. How do we keep improving on graphics? I don't know. Oh, oh, these folks are here again. Nope, 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 nope. Get away. Thank you, goodbye. And get get him, get him, 9S. Get him. There we go. There we go. You're out of here, didn't stand a chance. Excuse me, can you stop shooting those? Can you stop shooting the little red orbs of doom for just one one flippin' moment. That would be appreciated. Oh no! I forgot about Big Axe boy there. Excuse you. Excuse me. Just no. Just just stay there. Just it, If you'd back it up, it would be best for you. Thank you. Get out of here. Eat some spear. Wait, isn't that where I was supposed to... Wait. Wait a minute. That's where I was supposed to stop back there. Ew. I have to figure out a different way to get there, I guess. Um. Okay, back to the drawing board. I wish I could just jump off. But that's not the way this game's programmed. Maybe it's not the way I'm programmed, since I'm playing an android in this game. Oh, where to go, what to do now? There are a few jump cuts in this that it's just where I literally got lost or I went back to the same places and I didn't need to. So there might be a couple of skips ahead in certain things. I don't think I made the jump cuts too bad to where it's like I'm in one place and next thing you know I'm like back in the desert or I'm back in the woods. And I mean if, if jump cuts have to be done that way then I, I will eventually do them because I have a feeling Cause you know me with side quests, I want to try and do side quests, so I'm going to try and do a majority of those before I continue with the main. Spoiler alert, just so you know. 
And the reason I say that is because I, I, I like to get the most out of a game. I don't, I don't care if I got it for free, I don't care if I'm borrowing it. For example, this one, if I paid full price, especially if I paid full price for it, which today's games, 50, 60 bucks a piece. I don't know, that's kind of, no. <laughs> Still break time? Okay. Y you bet. You've been on break for a long time there. A very long time. Is any Does anyone relieve you of shift with break time? By chance? Or are you just, are you just the break time bot? I don't know where to go. I guess I'll just have to go straight through the gate. Hopefully it's still... Oh, it's still open! And there, there's our, our friend that wanted to take us to the village and I, I'll get to the no no I friend I'm not ready I'm not I'm not ready to go you realize that he turned around and was like hey hey you said you come to the village I've been, I've been waiting I've been waiting a long time for you to come to my village oh the music stopped it's just atmosphere now I don't like it when that happens there's normally bad things that happen some weird messed up kind of stuff Oh, I was right, this elevator goes down, doesn't go up. I kept thinking the, the tower that looked like kind of the lighthouse, I, I thought I was going to get to go up there. Maybe I do later on. I don't know. Also, I noticed in the save screen, I am on ending T, and I said there's 26 different endings in this. And this doesn't look friendly. This looks like Silent Hill Resident Evil kind of stuff going on down here. Oh, great. Goes further down. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I'm waiting for another like little robot to pop out and be like, Booyah, I'm getting you. Come on now. Come on now. Oh. Oh. It's a mass robot grave of some sorts. With more android buddies that aren't aren't with us anymore and a TV computer shrine apparently that I cannot climb or do anything to why why is this is this just extra I I don't I don't know what to do with this information other than be massively creeped out that the music kicked back on in here okay See you later. I, I gotta go. Everyone enjoy their slumber. Cause you're just asleep and taking a nap a do. I get you. Got it. You know you do a, a do, do a great long hard day's work attacking people that the the opera queen decide. That's what I what, what I'm gonna call it is the opera queen. And you just you gotta you gotta you know let your gears take a chill for a minute. Stop them running high processors. You know what I'm talking about? All them technologically advanced gizmos. Yeah. Gotta take a break from that. <laughs> See, it gets quiet. I don't like when it gets quiet. Quiet's not good most of the time. Then again, big noises aren't either. See, I can't access that either. Why? Why? I can't access. I got an accent with access. Why can't I access that right now? I don't know, but... I'm going to go check out the village. This this dude seemed real cool. And I think you all noticed when I fought the tank, when I tried it the second time because I failed so gracefully that first time jumping up there and thinking I figured him out. If you notice, for whatever reason, oh gosh darn this train, I swear, I'm going to have to go so it doesn't blare in your ears. Okay, so train's gone now. Sorry about that. I hate to do that. Anyway, you noticed when I was sitting there and I had the tank and I, you know, so wonderfully did not defeat it the first time. Uh, when I tried it the second time, I tried running up the stairs going towards the roller coaster and 2B and 9S had a conversation about, hey, you know, they're, they're not hostile or anything they haven't been provoked you know leave them be but then 
that's what 2B said. Like, there's there's no reason to mess with them. Like, they're they're happy, they're good, they're not hurting anybody, they're not, like, destroying things or people or whatever. And then 9S was like, yeah, but if they get loose, I'm going that way. But 9S was like, we need to destroy them. Because we don't know. Right. You wouldn't have seen that before. No. They're sending supplies up from Earth to the moon in the bunker. Eh? There are no spare parts or fuel in space, after all. Huh. And I imagine that's maybe not at the resistance camp, so I wonder where the heck that is. That's got to be a job, too, because, I mean, without that supply, they can't survive up there. So I'm sure there's a lot of people that have sacrificed their time, energy, and so safety. The machines, or the aliens who created them, attack the bunker directly. They originally came here from outer space, right? Well, there are a few theories about that, but no one knows for sure. Hard mm. to tell what an alien is thinking, you know? Hmm. I sense a conspiracy at foot. Ooh, a thing. I like shiny. Still amusement park. Looks like there's a castle of some kind behind me. Besides the castle in the amusement park, I mean, there seems to be like a, a medieval type castle over here of sorts. Maybe I actually do get to go into that castle up there. Hmm, that would be neat. Listen to his little scutter just, just just trolling her along there. Oh. Okay. Ooh, there's a big feller. There's a big puncher. Machine village. Alright. Big old village in the woods. They're like they're like doing the hobbit thing over here and the elf thing li living in trees and whatnot. Elves, like really sorry. Don't fight. Nope. Nope. You're important. Hello. Oh hey. Alright. Okay. To be. We can't trust anything the machines say. <laughs> Okay. Well, I, I I can I can meet the fellow peeps here. We are not your enemy. All right. How about you, friend? We do not want to fight. All right. I mean, I think if you wanted to, you'd attack me by now. So. Now that's one of those jump cuts I was talking about. Because that's where I had stopped the recording and I had to save. That I'm gonna be honest about it, okay. We will not fight. We are not your enemy. I wonder if they're all gonna say the same thing. Waving the <laughs> waving the flag is fun. <laughs> the white flag means we surrender. We surrender, we surrender. We do not want to fight. Okay, it's just it's a cycle. We surrender, we surrender. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that um, waving the flag is fun. Okay, I'm gonna make sure a majority of them don't say something different. We've gotta make sure of that. Waving the flag is fun. I'm glad all these machines are having so much fun. The white flag means we surrender, okay? What do you gotta say? Waving the, waving the flag is so much fun. <laughs> just, we will not fight. We're, we're, we're a chill place. Please be calm. We are not your enemy. See, they were, that that was a little bit different dialogue. Just a wee bit. How about up here? Uh, maybe talk to you first. Please be calm. We are not your enemy. Okay, now, now they're repeating again. They said I had... Pascal said I had to talk to him. So, the white flag means we surrender. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to come over here. Because I don't see anything over there. Talk to you guys real quick. White flag means that we surrender. I, I think I'm going to say that 60 times. Okay. I'm not even going to say it anymore. Uh, I want the shiny. Can I have... There we go. Dash underneath you. Thanks for the shiny. Oh, that, that, that was a flawless transition. I don't know how I pulled that off. Again, more chests. 
I don't know if you have to be a certain level, or you have to push so many things along in story, I'm not 100% for sure. Okay, that's all that was down here for you, but I'm sure there's more. Let's see, it's up here. Looks like a locked door of some sort. So I imagine I can't go in there. Can I go up there? How about down here? Go back around. Oh, hey, you got... Ah, uh, John Paul. Okay. Who's John Paul? Waving the flag is fun. We're not your enemy. There's a stacked one. Is, is John Paul, like, the, the new uh, pit bull? John Paul Worldwide. Is that, is that what we're talking about here? Okay, so go back around this way. Go back up there. Oh, oh, oh. I can't, I can't do any kind of flips or tricks like this. Oh, just barely made that. Let's see, just to double check. Let's make sure that this door is not accessible. And it's definitely not accessible, but I cannot get up there for some strange reason. Alright. So, where else to explore? Where have I not been, or who have I not chatted with yet? I've chatted with all of you. Is there a way to get up past? Can I, like, stand on your head? No? Okay. Um, where to go from here is the real question. We are not your enemy. I don't... Did I talk to you? I don't know. I've talked to so many of you. No offense. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the thing. There's the chest. The mini chest, I, I should say. Okay, so back down this way. And... Okay, there's the save. Alright. Let's come back and talk to you again. You know we already have something of a relationship with you androids. In fact, I'm hoping you can take this... To... Oh, what is it? It's a fuel filter that she requested. If you take it to her, it should make it clear that we are a peaceful group. Alright. That's the main quest, though. That's, that's the main thing, because Pascal is a main character, apparently. Because just like over there in the desert, in the resistance camp... And there's so many other things. There's so many little red dots I have not gotten. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do more of these before I continue the main story. Because I will not forgive myself. So, if you were ready for side quest adventures, I tell you what, you're going to get them between this video and the next. I, I tell you what. That's my current location. Okay. So, that's Park Ruins. Okay. So, that's the amusement park over there to that side. Alright. Say, save again real quick. Nah, I don't need save. I didn't need to check my mail, though. Okay. Okay, I think I got it now. I... I think... I think, I think, just maybe, just maybe, I, I can do this. If I can figure out what direction I need to return to in order to do so. And I notice there's all these, on, on the minimap, there's all these little ramps going places. So let's check that out. Oh, hi. Existence precedes essence. Um... Man is nothing else but what he makes of himself. Additionally, um, hello? Yes, and you are? Wait, do not tell me. I've already deducted that you are here to listen to me expand upon the great mysteries of existence. Well, enough. Let us begin by discussing the concept of existentialism. Essence and existence are two sides of the same coin. And yet, there is existence? I'm glad you asked. To answer that, we require many long hours of... This is pointless. <laughs> There's no point in talking to John Paul. We stopped trying to figure him out a while ago. Oh, you're John Paul. You've got a nice little top hat. 
All he does is spout a bunch of mumbo-jumbo about something called philosophy. If you're curious about him, you'll have better luck talking to his followers. They tend to use smaller words. This guy has followers? More like fans, I suppose, but yes. Quite a few out there. Some folks just get into the sort of thing, I suppose. There's even a John Paul follower right here in the village. You know the machine with the thick paint on her face? That's the one. Okay. Alright, good to know. I guess I need to go talk to them. Oh no, have you come come to hear my lecture as well? I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I'm good, dude. Like, you, you do you. You have your mysterious whimsical fantasy uh, philosophy about existence and essence, which at the same time is... You know, if I never would have done the side quest, not figured out that it has a probably something to do with this game, I would imagine. Because, again, I'm playing as an android that looks facially more human and acts semi-human. And then you've got these robots that are... Not that they're less than what the android is, but as far as their built or capability, they are more limited in what they are able to do versus these two androids can run around, shoot pods. Hello, can I, can I ask you a question? Do you happen to know a machine named John Paul? I certainly do. Master John Paul is a genius. You can rely on him for absolutely anything. Are we talking about the same John Paul here? <laughs> in fact, I was just thinking about how much wisdom he has to teach me. So I wrote a letter asking for guidance. You'll take it to him, won't you? Uh, huh? I can't let that lady in the desert get to him first. Or that harpy in the amusement park. Oh! Oh! Great, there are more of these weirdos. <laughs> and wait, they have genders? Letter for John Paul. Okay. So I need to so far go back to John Paul, but I also need to go to the amusement park. Because apparently there's somebody over there, and then there's also the resistance camp that, again, is the main. But yes, it's not that they're lesser or anything, it's just you can tell the capabilities are far different from the androids and the robots. The androids are running around, they can flip and jump and they can shoot cannons with another little pod android drone buddy and sh shoot a machine gun and they can self-destruct and come back and their uh, information can be uploaded, downloaded a lot easier. You know, their speech recognition is far, you know, grander and vast than the other robots. And then you have robots that have either upgraded or learned or whatever they have done, like John Paul, who has a more more advanced dialogue themselves and then you have some robots that are just kill 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 or we're not here to harm you it's okay it's all good they're more laid back they don't really care about the philosophy or anything like that it's just we're chill we exist we're here and that's one of those those great questions that comes up. You know, what is existence? And that's how I think this game tries to bring it to you with, you know, robots and androids and barely any humans. It's like, well, these things are moving. They're they not maybe breathing, but they are moving, thinking, calculating creatures and machines. So what's the stop? Why are you crying? <laughs> don't cry. I don't like when Do people cry. Here. What's wrong? Oh. There's this operator I kind of liked, but when I asked her out, she turned me down. Oh, no. but hey, that it happens. It's okay. Honestly, Tubi, I don't know how I'm supposed to go on living. I know that's I the way it feels. I'm definitely not the person to discuss this with. You leaving would be bad for me. 
It would affect mission efficiency. True. True. Uh, are you saying you need me to be? All Model B combat units require the assistance of an operator. So... To be? That's all. Closing this channel. <laughs> Bye! So, sorry you had that problem. Glad I could say I, I need you and all, but peace. Take care of that yourself. Alright, I cannot save out in the woods, so I need to run back. Which, I did discover that over the amusement park before. I can't just save where I haven't found a machine or saving spot. Am I close enough? No, I'm not close enough. I am not within circle. But that's exactly what I was talking about, where... Yes... Oh, hey, you, you weren't there before. You weren't just awkwardly standing by the ladder waiting... I remember because I ran past a moment ago. So what are you doing? And you're new too. And again, that's one of those jump cuts. I'm sorry, that's where I had to save and everything else. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Mother machine. Okay. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Okay, you're not going to say anything different. Child machine. Hello, nice day we're having. Alright. I assume you'd be the father. You're trying to fit that role of the dad. Okay, Father Machine, welcome to our village. Is there anything more you say? At all? No? Okay. Hmm. I'm standing... I'm standing watch to prevent... Oh, this path leads to the forest castle. Oh, okay. So there, there is another castle involved. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not saying it fast enough for everyone. I do apologize. I, I, I am trying. I know I'll just goof it up more if I try and redo it three or four more times. Okay, so this goes off this direction. But there's so many other side quests going on over there. Um, wait, what? I just got massively turned around somehow. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And where are you dots? Okay, there's the John Paul. John Paul Melancholy. Where? I don't need a light right now. Why do, why do I do that? Okay. Come down here, I guess. Looks like the right direction. Go to the wood, the forest in the wood, or the forest in the woods, the castle in the woods. Oh, oh, I heard a piggy. Very somber. This is more medieval, like. Can't go through there. Can I, can I just knock? Can I just like take that big, friggin' sword and be like, hey? Let me in! <laughs> I don't see anywhere I can jump to. I don't see any entrances. I see nothing I can interact with. I don't even see a person to talk to. So maybe that's where I'm getting more ahead of myself yet again. No pro Wait. What, what, what happened to the... Oh, there's the path. That was confusing. Let me just, you know, skip a jump here. Nope. Come on. There we go. Springboard back up and uh, keep it going. Okay. Now we're gonna go back over here, back through the village. I, I like how when I came back, there there's other other robots around. Okay, now that little dash there to the side, that I believe, yeah. Okay. So that's John Paul himself. So I need to come down here. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. I just I just wanted to bring up the map again, just to make sure I'm going the right direction. Because I'm getting very lost in the, in this episode here. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, Pascal's gone. Oh, come down here. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. What are you guys doing? This guy can't climb very well, so I have to carry him to high places. I also have to carry him while playing, so my arms are getting pretty tired. Okay. We're going to get Pascal to teach him the word restraint next time. 
<laughs> Oops. Uh, can I talk to this one? Today, I want you to take me to the top of the village, the forest, the castle, and Pascal's place. Dude! After that, we can go to the village entrance, into the bridge, into the amusement park. Um... Yeah, I, I'd have to agree. Okay. Um, excuse me, can you please help me? I need to find my little sister. She's lost. Big sister machine. Agree to help. And it's all my fault. It seems she overheard me complaining about how one of my parts was starting to seize up. So she went off to the desert in search of a replacement. It's been days now and she's still not back. Please, you have to help me. I'll pay you whatever you want. I'm gonna have to do that one too. She sure cares about her little sister, huh? Still, it's pretty funny to hear machines talk about siblings. Do you think she just means they were built at the same factory or something? Maybe. I want a jump rope. So, tag then? What should we do today? Play tag. Um, um, jump rope. Jump rope? I want a jump rope. I hope my legs are long enough. Um, life is hard. <laughs> not, not gonna. Oh, hey, Biggin. What are you doing? Strength. I need more strength. If I was huge, I could destroy everything. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. I want to be as big as this guy. I wish I was bigger, don't you? I don't know. As an android with swords and guns, it's not. Oh, you just. This is wonky. My body is big, but I feel tiny on the inside. Please do not make fun of me. So. Uh, can I can I get around you? Can can excuse me, excuse me. Okay, just needed this box real quick. So I wonder, can I sit there and? Yeah, we know you need. We we know what you want to do. Trust me. I'm seeing if big guy had anything else to say. No, you had nothing else to say. Okay. But I wonder, like, can you do that to where you? You know, this is that ghost in the shell theory again. Since these are robots and androids and computers we're talking about. Even if they have essence or existence. Oh. Oh no. Sorry, is something wrong? Mercy, please just let us go. Um, I think there might be some kind of misunderstanding here. You mean you aren't here to arrest us? No. Wait. Why do you think I'd arrest you? We deserve the resistance. You what? We just want to find peace. We just want to find a place where the two of us can live our lives in peace. Please don't tell anyone that we're here. We're not with the Resistance. We're your ha. We don't have any obligation to report you to your superiors. Thank goodness. Still, if you guys stay here, they're going to find you eventually. We don't have a choice. My locomotion functions have been damaged, and we don't have necessary materials to perform repairs. Er, I don't suppose you'd bring us the materials we need. Huh? Who, us? We can't get them ourselves. If we leave this place, we'll be found out for certain. I know it's a lot to ask, but we promise to reward you, please. And I'm not really just doing it for rewards. Thank you, we just need an elaborate gadget to conduct. Dang it. I saw one near the abandoned factory. Thank you again, we know you can do this. Okay, but I still haven't found the abandoned factory because I had something in my email at one point. Yeah, see, I had something in my email at one point on on, on this in-game in here that said, go find this thing over in the abandoned factory. I never found the abandoned factory. I, I don't know where it is offhand. I haven't found that on the map yet. I will eventually. I'm sure it's right around the same circle of things. If you can have this forest village and the amusement park and the desert all within somewhat centralized area, then I get it. But yeah, it, it's, as I was saying prior to that, it's kind of like the Ghost in the Shell theory. If you can upload, download whatever essence or pieces of, you know, an existence or memory to, can you switch them? You know, can you take 
can you take the not that I, I not that I'd suggest this because the the one that's small that wants to be big wants to destroy everything I think I'd pick the other one that was a bit nicer that's just like happy to be that size so it's like I may be big but I feel tiny inside oh welcome to our village I thought maybe you'd say something different so could you switch their existences to a different body this is our village I keep it safe I'm ready to change shifts. Okay. <laughs> I, and I know, I, I've probably referred to this map 20 times. If you guys have played this, you know, your own, and you, you're watching this a, as I play it, you might understand. Maybe you're the same kind of person as me. I hate getting lost. And I just I just want to carry the story. I just, I just want to make it keep going. And see, there's that, there's that music switch again, where it's just, it's, it goes nothing. It's just atmosphere. But yeah, could you switch them to where they would maybe be happier with themselves? Which is no different than what humans do with trying to change themselves. Don't tell me you heard tales of genius inventor and came to see me. Quite, I'm sure of it, yes, yes. After all, I am a huge genius whose very name makes the earth itself... Uh, coming to me for advice proves keen mind and stuff. I can't read what you're typing here. I'm, it's going too fast for my brain. Well then, care to in invest in my work? Sure. Just between you and I, I know that if you provide enough of an investment, I'll be able to provide certain dividends for you. Um, I'm gonna be really, really generous to you, and don't mess with me, guy, please. Very wise, very wise. Look forward to a fruitful relationship in the future. Two days later. <laughs> Eureka, I've done it. Feast your eyes and senses alike. Okay. 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 Did you really invent... Or did you just find? Alas, but sadly, the staggering work of genius has exhausted me. Would you care to make a new investment? Um, sure. Um, how about that? However, I lack budget I require. Is it because I haven't given enough, or are you just trying to take money from me, buddy? What is it? Which is it now? I'm gonna I'm gonna try again. I I probably shouldn't, but but I'm gonna I'm gonna try and be nice. Just between you and I, yeah yeah yeah. Um, I, I'll go. What? What? Yeah, I, I've invested a lot of money for you to invent very little or just hand me very little. Are you the con artist? You're the con artist robot, aren't you? Yeah, I know. I don't have a lot left because I gave it to you. Oh, so so you... Yeah, no. Yeah, I know I've given you a lot of my money. Sorry. Oh. Really? Really now? Really? Okay. I, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic there, guy, or, or what you're doing. Anyway, back to this little side mission, trying to figure out what... Wait. I can't... Oh, I can't go back up there. Because I dropped down. That's right. Oh, I don't know where to go. I do not know. I, I I really feel like I need to get to that amusement park to figure out who who the other people are that are wanting to hook up with John Paul. But I I don't know how to get to the other followers. I guess I'll try this direction. I think have I been this way? I don't think so kind of looks new oh yeah this is new definitely haven't been over here yet 
Ah, oh, wait. Oh, this is getting back over into the, t uh, not the town, but the city. I almost said town. Okay. We can get into the city ruins if we move that box. Un I don't understand these boxes. I, 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 I kind of hope there's some kind of strange, weird explanation for these boxes in game somehow, because otherwise there's just a random gearbox slammed into the middle of places that I have to move with no explanation. If there was some kind of strange origin story behind them, or if it even said, hey, this was put there to keep, you know, things or people out, and to, you know, it was just made out of the scrap gears that they could find, I, I could, I could, I could roll with that. I could, I could deal with that. I, I, I'm going to try fishing again. I don't know if, I, does this work in game? Does it have to be a, a deeper body of water than the little river going off the edge here? I imagine there's some, you know, I would think that there's some kind of area that there's going to be mainly water because we've had, already we've had more factory industrial setting. We've had, of course, the city. We've had the desert, and the city is more forest. And we've had the village in the woods there that's complete forest. So, I would... Not necessarily bet. Yeah, see, because there's more underneath that there as well. There's more I haven't been through through there. That isn't even lit up. Hmm. Current destination. And that's where I'm at. So I'm going to have to go. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice that before. What's that? I don't, I don't know what what that is. The red's normally an enemy. So I'm going to have to fight some things. That's the lost girl. Okay. So that's finding the, the little sister. Okay. And there's a lot through there. It seems like I haven't really explored. I cannot save. So is this maybe the factory? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not 100%. That is a long way down. But see, there I can see on the mini-map, there's a little section there. Does that mean I get to go eventually to that section? There is so much in this game. Oh, no. You, you leaving? You going bye-bye? You taking off? Oh, no. You got, the, you got the red eyes. You're trying. No. You've been provoked. You're still in negative mode. Okay, you're not one of the peaceful ones. Alright, then I guess we'll just take care of you. Because I've got no choice at this point. But yeah, as I was saying earlier... Oh, boy! There's like 26 different endings, and I've got ending T. And FYI, it goes by the letters of the alphabet, if you did not know. Nice little extra added thing there as another train goes by. Uh, I've, I've got a fight going on. I'm not going to stop it. It's just going to happen. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be better about that. I'm trying to not have that kind of stuff in my recording if I can help it. Oh boy. Man, you're strong. And you got a lot going on. I can't even really tell what level you are. Prince too tiny at the moment. Ooh! Yeah, see, this is what I didn't do with the first one I met in the desert. That's why I failed several times with the one in the desert. Ooh! Ooh! Had that alien mouth action going where it's... <laughs> go, go, gadget, extend arm, you know? <laughs> Whoa! That was a pretty neat finisher with the spear there. I thought you were just going to sit there for a minute. It was going to remind me of the uh, Detroit Become Human demo. Which, again, there's another one. There's another one. You know, what is the difference of existence and essence? You know, is it that you're just here? Is it... You know, do you 
obviously you don't have to bleed blood or <coughs> breathe air. I don't know where to go. Um, is there anywhere I can go in the shopping plaza? By chance? Okay, there's a the thing. That's a pretty neat thing. That's a nice thing. I can't go that way though. This reminds me of where I found the spear near the tunnels. There was only one way in and one way out, and there was nothing else there after I got the spear. But there's not even another weapon in here, and that looks like a huge place. Hmm. There's got to be another way. Because there's a drop down right up there to my left. There's an elevator here. I'm not ready for that. I've probably found all these areas, and it's probably going to be later in the story. <laughs> I do that with all games, it seems. I, I, I did that with Borderlands a lot, too, when I played that forever in a day. That's way before I ever started recording. But trust me, if, if, I, had already, if I had already figured all this kind of stuff out, I would have been. Because I really loved me some Borderlands. That, that was my game for the longest time. Longest time. Back over here to. Oh. I just honestly. I couldn't in real life. There's just no way. I I would freak out. <laughs> oh hi, A little boar there. That's where I just ran around some more. Okay, I know I'm not hitting the right... There we go! See, there's there's a difference on this pad when you play this game. If you hit to the left of the touchpad here, it brings up uh, that little console selection, whatever you want to call it, that little mini menu of stuff. And then if you hit this side over here, I do get to ride the animals. I knew that was a thing. I looked that up real quick. Because I got this animal bait and it said I, I, I could sit there and, you know, actually bring over an animal to make it trust me to ride it. But anyway, and then if you bring up this side over here when you're playing, this side opens up the map that you keep seeing me pop up. It's the, the bigger menu, the quick menu, whatever you want to call it. Look at the speed on this moose. Oh, I, I don't know, uh, there, uh, rookie. I, I'm, I'm too, I'm too old, too old to be this young mentally. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you think about it, technically, that android is not. You know, that android is probably very, technically very heavy. And that, that's not being rude, that's just being honest, all the gears and gizmos in it. I mean, there has to be something, somewhere, that talks about that. I have to look that up. Like, how, how much does an android in this game weigh compared to what is the weight that a moose like that can carry. Come back! Come back! Oh, as I as I talk through a yawn. <laughs> oh, come here! Come here! We're not done. We got places to go, people to see. Come on! There we go. It's like, oh, what? Excuse me. See, I keep. I learned that when you're on ladders and you are on an animal and you're riding through them, the thing being is you cannot bring up the map. I, I didn't realize that till about this point. That if you touch that to bring up the map here on your controller, then all it's going to do... Oh, I can't I can't go through there. It's, it's not letting me. I'm literally pushing forward. Okay. I guess you can't 
technically you wouldn't be able to come through the tunnel anyway, so. And jump cut. I, I had to, because, you know, that place I, I found the spear I talked about? Yeah, I, I went back there. And I got lost in the tunnels, even though there's only two entrances. So. But yeah, I found out that if you're on ladders, or you're riding animals apparently, then you can only pause the game with that button, which... There's so many controls in this. Now, I learned my lesson. You are only not friendly if not provoked. Or you're only not friendly if provoked. Oh, oh, I remember talking to you. Hello, do you know of a machine named John Paul who lives in the village? Yeah, we were just there. Master John Paul is quite the mysterious gentleman. One might even go so far as to call him suspicious. And yet he's so luring all the same. Suspicious and alluring? Exactly, and I know just the gift for someone of that description. You deliver it to him straight away, won't you? I won't let the terrible girl in the desert find a way to interfere. Okay, so I need to go to the desert for two things now. I need to go to the desert to find this other robot that's a John Paul fan. Diehard John Paul fan, it seems. And I also need to find the little sister that's lost in that same area. But again, before I move along with Pascal's delivery, I've got to sit there and figure out how to do all this. But I really need to go back to John Paul right now to at least deliver these two. Because I don't want to go all the way to the desert, but I can come all the way back. I, I want, since I'm right here and I'm semi-close, which I, I'm going to use the same path that our little, our little floating friend took us on originally to get to the village where I couldn't jump back up, but I can jump down. So I guess I'm just going to keep making circles. Yeah, because this is, this is where he took us before, where we were running out of the amusement park and all that, and we could see the castles. Which, see, I don't know if that tower in the amusement park is part of this castle over here, I see. And I, again, I don't know what the boundaries are of X exploration in this game. Okay, we talked to you, which I'm probably not going to talk to again, because you seem like the robot that downloaded the con artist manual, and I'm, I'm a little ashamed you let me take <laughs> that much time and effort to give you that much gold or cash or currency. No, I didn't want... I didn't want to talk to you. I was trying to talk to you. Oh, that's right. You're not John Paul. Why did I think you were John Paul? You were a John Paul fan or follower. John Paul's in that other little spot over there to the side. Let's see. Okay, that's Lost Girl. Hmm. There's still so much. I really hope I find... What is that? The Wander... Oh, okay. That's... That's the factory! Okay. So, the factory's behind where I first came in at. When I very first came into the city. Okay. That very first vending machine that where I finally learned to save. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah... Yeah, I need to definitely, definitely need to go find the one in the desert. But since I'm here, I'm going to go give this one to John Paul. And I really hope it doesn't mess up my my stuff. This is those decisions in this game that I don't know if they're going to change everything or not. Or if they're going to stay the same. And that was pretty neat that I could jump. I can apparently teleport through ladders. I can pass straight through them. Just departicleize and put back together. There he is. There's Mr. Top Hat himself. Ah, yes, I see. Dreams of the Minds version of reality perfected. Hey, John Paul, we have a delivery for you. And allow me to see what it is. Interesting, a letter, is it? A female machine asks us to deliver it to you. She said she could rely on you that you know pretty much everything. Yes, yes. Now, if I may, do you believe that existence proceeds... Um, is this about the letter? No. Right, but shouldn't maybe respond to the letter? 
is one duty bound to reply to every question spewed in their direction. If such is your claim, then what power was it placed to burden some yoke about my neck? This is a waste of time. You got that right. I have another gift for you. A gift, let me see. Here you go. Ah yes, fascinating. The machine who gave this to us said you were both suspicious and alluring. It seems the so-called gift is nothing more than a piece of undorned glass. Um, do you want us to bring the message back to the one who gave it? For a mere trife? No. Okay then. Let's go. Alright. Well, I'm probably going to have to get to more of the side quests in the next one. I don't know where exactly what I'm going to do next. I'm probably going to go ahead and I'm going to go find the one in the desert. And since I've also got the Lost Scroll to find, I need to now go to the factory. But that's what all they will cover. There you are. Actually, he said it wasn't worthy of a response. I knew it. Isn't he gr the greatest? I can't get enough of him. You don't say. So that's the response you were looking for? When in fact you live in the same village? Okay. See, I can't... I, I can pause on ladders. But both feet gotta be on the ground before I save. Alright. So, this is all I have for this one. I, I hope it's been entertaining. A little bit interesting, getting more into the story. I hope all you peace folks and dudes have an awesome day. I hope to see you in the next one. And I'm gonna try and do more before again i can't do do more of the main story okay that's that's just out of the question but have a good day i'll see you later and i i just i i don't know but you know we'll see what kind of interesting things i can get into on this one but bye and i'll see you please like share subscribe leave a comment let me know how i'm doing that's that's all i ask i know this is a long outro but you know it, do you know when it's gonna end i don't know when it's gonna end am i programmed to know when it's going to end i don't think the androids know when it's supposed to end but it could be any second a, any time it could just keep going on i don't know May, maybe maybe it'll stop sometime is it going to stop is it maybe no possibly i don't know